Well, good luck with that, gentlemen. Good luck with that. Okay, so, um, oh my god, so we killed their general, and now, for the most part, our men are pushing forward. Oh dear. As I said, the Gallo guy, you can see them being killed. I mean, they're not invincible. They're definitely, they're definitely just sort of medium sort of grade foot soldiers. So they need other medium grade foot soldiers to be a formidable force. Unfortunately, they don't have other medium grade foot soldiers. They have the light Welsh spearmen, which are really just cheap foot, you know, just cannon fodder, actually. Oh God. Balls. Yeah, get in there. Get in there with the goosh. Get it, get in there, generals. Yeah, rout him. Kill all of them. God, Prince Rufus may just may actually be a really good general here. If he can, if he can turn around a battle like this where we were like outnumbered, and like he said, this is three fourths of their entire force. So if we win this battle, we pretty much won the war. We just need to mop up the rest of them. Oh my god. I wish there was blood. I really hope Rome Total War 2 has a lot of blood. That would be really cool. If it involves like gruesome just like guts and shit just everywhere. These guys are like having tea. Do you even see what's going on over there? Good god. There is so much freaking blood over here. No, I'm not sure. Did we kill... We killed Edmund. That's the king. That's the king right there. So if we kill the king... Well, I, I have a feeling that's that's a pretty... That's a pretty big blow to their, to their entire empire. Well, empire. They have two settlements. Not that we have that many either, but we're, we're getting there. We're at least getting a start. Oh dear. And they're all dead. Okay, um, mop up. I'll call you guys back. Go back to battle. Attack there, General. Prince, show them that their king is a boy, not a man. Yes. Uh, you guys get over here. Kill their king. Enemy king lies dead. Slain by our gallant warrior. Yes. End the battle. Okay, so we have... We deployed 1,200 men. We lost 996. And we have 514 remaining. And I'm going to split this up into two parts because we're already past 15 minutes, but I didn't feel like stopping to record. Um, and we have 936 men. We killed 936 men. Okay. That looks... I mean, I don't know what to think about it. They have 83 men remaining, so actually that's, wow. We we killed, even though I think, it, I don't know what happened, but they lost basically everything, I think. Um, yeah, they lost 1,700 men, which makes no sense. We only killed 936. I don't know what happened. Oh, we captured a bunch, I think. After, yeah, because if, if the units are routing and you attack them, um, you don't actually kill them. You, you capture them. See this? This little man, and, and he's in chains. That, that number is how many we've captured, and, uh, yeah. Which actually makes sense, okay. The sinews of war are not gold, but good soldiers. It's, it's, it's true, but gold is, gold helps. <laughs> um, so this is the prisoners captured. Now we can ransom them. You can trust the Scot to a fork. Release them. Aye, that's what you want to do. Or execute. Oh, please. Now, if this were Anselm, the, the winky little Anselm, he would 
He would for sure, he would release them. He would be too scared of their retribution to execute them. And if this were King, uh, if this were William, he'd probably ransom them. He's a smart man. He's, he likes, he, he needs, he knows that we need money for our coffers. But this is, of course, Prince Rufus. I want him to have some sort of, sir, I want him to have some sort of title, like the butcher or something. So, um, he's going to execute them because he has no care for the Scottish. He butchered all of them. And now we're going to exterminate the populace. Population to be massacred, 8,186. And we're going to get 4,000 gold. Okay. So we've butchered quite a lot of Scots. Oh. Candidate for adoption. Benefactor, Prince Rufus. His name is Jasper of Hungerford. So I guess Prince Rufus wants, uh, wants uh, to adopt someone. That's cool. Smart. Talent for command, promising commander, mixed loyalties. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Religious and winning first. Okay, so he's good enough, I suppose. We won't put him in charge of too much because he's not the most loyal man, but he will be a good general. Edinburgh, resistance is futile. We've made 7,000 coin. The crusade grows. And we have all of these new family members, Nicholas and Loafwine, Aston and James, yeah, yeah, all those. So let's, what well, we go to our family. Nicholas, son of Prince Rufus, has had another son. So Prince Rufus has been pretty, pretty productive. He has two, two, eight, he has two sons that are of age, and he has Nicholas. Soon these, if Prince Rufus becomes king, these, these will be the sons who who will have goals next um, uh, and then we have Mary Talbot Hugh Talbot Maria Talbot and that one's oh, yeah, um, and then we have George and Lofwine Lofwine now I I suppose William's last name is I, don't, I guess they just pick their own last names, because, no, I don't know, because Henry doesn't have a last name, Henry's just Henry, Robert's just Robert, Prince Rufus is just Rufus, but all of a sudden we have James Adams, and James Adams is his son, so I suppose it's King William Adams, William Adams, I, it has to be, otherwise, otherwise that wouldn't make much sense, um, Christina, okay, so. I don't know why sometimes it chooses to give them the characters' last names, and sometimes it doesn't. I don't understand. Diplomatic information. Uh, the following factions are now at war with each other. France and Milan, Byzantine Empire, and Venice. France and Milan, that's interesting. The following factions have declared that they are allies. Denmark and France, that's not good. And Moors in France, which is sort of whatever. Okay. Um, how much time do we have left on this? Three turns. So we don't have much time left, but... So I'm going to send the fleet forth. Oh, my balls. Okay. Wipe them out. Shit, we lost. I don't know, guys. We, not, we might not be able to make it to this crusade. We can't make it past our own freaking ships. We. Oh, my God. That is really depressing. Oh, my God. The Pope is going to be angry with us. I'm trying. I just can't get past this area. I'm trying so hard. Okay. Um. I, I suppose we'll just quickly send Anselm because uh, we don't have much choice at this point. We have to send him to London, and uh, London recruit some ships, and then Nottingham. You get ready to recruit some soldiers. Um. You send these troops to London, and then okay, Nottingham, Dublin. So, if we can, how about this? On the last turn that we have, we're gonna get Anselm as close as we can to the docks. On the last turn we have, we're going to um. 
send we're going to have him join the crusade and hope that we don't lose all the troops um be, from abandonment uh they might they might all abandon the crusade they might not i don't know i just don't know what's gonna happen so stay tuned on that um also do you think it would be quicker to take the ships around with the soldiers all the way around or do you think it'd be safer to embark the troops here have the troops march here while the ships meet them there pick them up and then go or simply take the ships out and have them march eh I don't know it's uh your choice but I um I, I don't know uh, this, I, I mean I don't want to have them march all the way that'll take forever if but I might have them march across this the France and then get to the south and while they're marching they might be able to scout out some cities and that'll be nice and the ships will get here and then pick them up I don't know if that's that'll be faster honestly I don't know what it'll provide but it might make a more interesting trail I, I, I don't know so um, I could construct that but we have a few things to build we need to build a castle here then I believe York needed an upgrade. No, it wasn't York. It was Nottingham. Nope. Uh, London. London. Okay. Uh, Stonewall in London. And uh, nothing here. So in Nottingham, actually in Khan, let's build a drill square. Okay. And I think that's um, that's about it. Uh, we're going to Prince Rufus is just rallying himself, getting himself all all nice and clean from the battle, and then he'll march up to Inverness and butcher everyone there. Um, and then the Scottish will be thoroughly wiped out. He doesn't know what he's going to do with these soldiers. These guys, he's he doesn't know what to do about. Alexander, but he's uh, he he might have troops march up from the south to take care of them. Although there's too much going on with the Crusades right now to sacrifice that many troops. Okay, and Anselm is on his way, so let's end a turn. Scotland trying to retake their city. I don't know what to think about that. Oh, balls. Can we please just withdraw? And they got wiped out. Of course. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they get blown to pieces? Um, I don't know if a crusading army is safe from rebel attack. I don't know if rebels respect... I don't think they do. I honestly don't think they give a shit. Because um, they recruit heretics, so I don't think they're friendly to Catholics. Cardinal dies. Brian McNabb. Well, it doesn't matter, because he would have died anyway in a second. As soon as we take Scotland. Um, good God. Well, he's going to try to take it. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We could attack him. Let's see, let's see how much chance we have to sally forth. I mean, Prince Rufus is not the man to sit around and wait. He is a man of action. So he is going to do this. Um, and, and we'll fight this one out too. But we'll do that next part. Thank you for watching. And uh, I will see you guys next time.